so today's tutorial is going to be how to make it appear like you're wearing false lashes without actually having to wear any false lashes, which is great! The two most important things that you're going to need in order to achieve this look is a handy dandy pair of eyelash curlers. Um, the one thing that I cannot stress enough is you do not need to break the bank to get a pair of good eyelash curlers. These are from Revlon. I've had them for two years and it's literally stood by my side like no other. It's been amazing. I love it. They're super comfortable because they have these little grips in the handlebars and then they came with um, I think two or three different replacement sponges for this part as well. But yeah, it was like four dollars or maybe three dollars, somewhere around that ballpark. And that's great. You don't need to be spending $20, $30 on an eyelash curler when they all pretty much do the exact same thing. The next product is something that I feel like people don't use nearly as often as they should. I don't use it as often as I should, but I definitely feel like I reach for it when I kind of want that extra va va voom for my lashes. And it is a primer! Nobody, again, uses them anymore. I don't know why, or maybe they use them secretly and it's like the secret eyelash primer society that nobody just talks about and it's like shh. This one is by Lancome. It's the Seals Booster XL or Seals Booster XL. I never know how to pronounce their stuff. But yeah, it is uh, microfiber infused as well as vitamin E infused. The vitamin E is really going to help with conditioning your lashes and keeping them strong and not brittle so you don't have to be scared of them like breaking off or anything. And then the microfibers I don't know if you can see or not, but there are these little hairs all over the mascara that just help to really add that volume and definition that we all long and want. Their website and the description actually says that it's safe enough to put on at night and go to sleep in. Um, I, I don't know if I recommend doing that. I wouldn't do that personally just because I'm a plant my face in the pillow kind of gal when I sleep and the last thing that I need is that product getting into my eyes and then just causing a bunch of issues. So yeah, definitely recommend investing in some kind of a primer. I know that Tarte has one, uh, Dior has a pretty decent one, Lancome, who else? So yeah, these two products are going to be your holy grail for this look. Hopefully you guys are happy, hopefully you guys achieve magnificent lashes. If they don't come out exactly like mine, please don't stress. I have like abnormally long lashes to the point where I have to like cut them with scissors sometimes because they end up hitting my eyebrow and it gets really annoying. So again, don't stress. I'm sure yours will come out way prettier than mine ever will. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave all that stuff in the comment section below and I will try to get to them as quickly as I can. But yeah, so stay tuned, keep watching, and I will show you exactly how I achieve my falsified but not eyelashes. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to apologize in advance just because I'm going to have to keep looking over on my viewfinder just to make sure that my eye stays in the frame so please don't get annoyed the first thing that we're going to do is take those handy dandy eyelash curlers that we were talking about and make sure to really really curl your eyelashes really well and what I like to do is when I curl them I like to pulse as I go and then go all the way up through the lash so make sure all the hairs are in and sometimes what I like to do too is just use my fingers to just pull all the lashes through and start at the very base and pulse. Instead of it just being like right at the root, it just bends it's gonna kind of curl upwards nicely and create a much more of a natural look. So next we're going to take our primer and because like I said it's fiber infused you just want to make sure that you really get in there onto your lashes and really pile on the product. What I like to do is place the brush at the very root and just begin wiggling it all the way through. Even though 
it may appear white right now. When this product actually dries, it dries to a clear. So we're gonna go ahead and just wait for it to dry and then we'll go through step number two. Okay, it looks like the product is dry. This next step is really, really important. So what we're gonna do is, while we have this primer on and it is dry, we're gonna curl our lashes one more time. that that makes and then we're gonna go in with the primer one more time for a second coat because you have to remember because it is fiber infused you can build fiber on top of fiber to give yourself more volume Now I'm going to go in with my mascara. Usually what I like to do is alternate between a couple of different ones, but just for today I'm gonna stick with one because this one alone gives me enough volume that I really, really like. And this is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I actually got this as a birthday gift recently and I'm in love. And the thing that I hate is now I'm hooked on this mascara and I've always been against buying high-end mascaras because I think it's just redonkulous to spend like $30 on a mascara. So we're gonna go in with the first layer and just start building from there. See how it's gripping? Like all this right here at the very end, those are all fibers. Those aren't my lashes. My lashes probably stop right about there. So you're getting about a millimeter of just fiber extension. Some of you may think that this is just a little bit too much and that they're a little outrageous, but like I said, I'm just somebody that really likes really long, crazy lashes, and if you don't want them to get to this point, then I would just recommend sticking to one coat of each, so just a coat of the primer and a coat of the mascara, and you should be good to go. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna go all out and make myself have really crazy, false-looking lashes. So we're just gonna go and hit the bottom ones with a couple of coats as well. see kind of underneath there where I got a little bit of mascara on my skin so we're just gonna let it dry and then we're gonna go in and clean it up afterwards so what I like to do at this point is just use a pair of tweezers I know I'm not supposed to and this is a good way to ruin your tweezers but this is what I've always done and I just take a pair of tweezers and I just go in and I separate the hair so that they're not stuck together And then I'm gonna go in with just one more coat, but I'm gonna concentrate it more at the root as opposed to the tips. And that is the finished look. Oh my god, why am I stumbling? Oh, oh, oh.